Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with an IMAT haul. So, I went to IMAT New York yesterday, um, Saturday, and I picked up too much stuff. <laughs> But I really wanted to share it with you guys, so I thought I'd film a haul today. And yeah, I love watching these videos. I love watching IMAX hauls in particular. So I'm just gonna jump right in because this video might be a little bit long. So I'm gonna get started with the first booth I ran to, which was Morphe. So me and my girls, we had like a plan of attack. <laughs> we were prepared because I go to IMAX every year and I know how crazy it gets. I know that those lines after like the first hour it's open get crazy. Like you'll be online for two hours. So we're not about that uh, two hour line life. So we kind of split up and just for like our first booths. So everybody went to a different booth. The main booths I would say like Morphe and Dose of Colors and Sigma. You know the booths that the lines get crazy. So we each split up and went to a booth, gave each other our lists, so that way we all got what we wanted and nobody ever had to wait on a line. Um, honestly, I think that was the best way to do it. If you have the chance to go with girlfriends or whoever, definitely uh, take my advice and do that so that you never have to wait on a line and you get everything that you want because I swear, right after we hit like our first or second booth, I mean, the lines were ridiculous anyway I'm gonna stop rambling about IMATS I had a, such a good time I had so much fun oh, I loved it I loved every minute of it and yeah I'll continue to go every year but anyway so my first booth was Morphe because I really wanted some brushes and I also wanted this baby I wanted the Jaclyn Hill palette so bad I knew it was going to be there and I wanted to get this palette when it um, first came out online but I had such trouble with the website and loading and refreshing and I couldn't check out so I kind of gave up at that point and I was like I'll just you know I, I gave up I thought I was never going to get the palette but when I found out it was going to be at IMAX I got really excited so that was the first thing I asked for and it is so beautiful like I'm so glad I picked this up this palette look at these colors this palette is serious look at this it's so beautiful and the pigmentation is there so I'm really excited I already played with it today I used some of these like peachy and orangey shades on my eyes today I don't know if you guys can see or if my camera's washing it out but yeah I already dug into it I played with it for the first time today and I'm loving this palette because I have to get a wipe girl because I know it's gonna be swatch fest today okay next thing i picked up was i really wanted the the new tapered brush set that morphe had has recently come out with but they didn't have it like prepared like the set wasn't ready they had them as singles so you kind of just had to find them individually and i don't know so i was there for a while looking for them but i think i got most of them so I think I don't even know I was just picking whatever looked tapered and the girls really didn't know I don't know it was kind of messy but whatever I got a bunch of brushes so these are the tapered brushes I picked up and yeah so they're all just pretty much tapered brushes um, I love a good tapered brush for highlighting contouring crease work so I just got a bunch of these that um, are in that set I don't know if this is all of them and I also picked up some other brushes so I picked up a fan brush I picked up a nice dual fiber brush I like this dual fiber brush because it's better than I have a MAC one let me show you guys I feel like this MAC one is is flat top number one this one is more rounded and this one is like has no density it's very like flimsy and I feel like this one has a good amount of density to like bronze like if I want to do like a light bronze or even for um, blush cream blush like my Colourpop blushes that I have trouble with um, this might be better because it's a little more dense so I was excited about this dual fiber brush it's nice and rounded and I picked up another one of my favorite brushes for bronzing which is the really big fluffy um, angled brush 
This one I got last year from IMAX. It's Medallion Tools. It's a lot bigger in size, but I feel like this one might fluff out a little bit more. But I love this. This is like my holy grail brush for um, bronzer. So I picked up another one, but Morphe. And I also picked up this, what is this called? The G2. Um, I got this for concealer because I feel like I've seen somebody use this for concealer under the eye. So I thought I'd give it a try. Anyway, brushes can get boring to talk about. So yeah, I just got a bunch of brushes from Morphe. So while I was at Morphe, I had girls at Anastasia, at Dose of Colors, Sigma. Like I said, we all split to the main booths or the more popular booths just so we all got everything we wanted and my girl um one of my girls went to dose of colors for me because that was really important on my list that was like my second booth and i really just wanted this set this is the new the limited edition terra collection I guess terracotta right terra? i don't know when she posted this was launching at imax new york i was on it right away so i think i saw it on instagram and yeah, this is one of the sets I wanted. I was able to get my hands on it. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to swatch one for you because it's the one that I know I'm going to keep for sure. Because I'm not going to swatch the other two because I I don't want to give too much away. But I may give one of these in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And yeah, so I don't want to swatch these two because these are the two I'm not sure if I'm keeping. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But the one I'm for sure keeping is Stone, which is so, oh my god, so pretty. Look at that color. I'm definitely keeping Stone. So the other two are Sand and Brick. I'll give you guys a little close-up. So Sand is really like a pretty pale sand color, and Brick is so beautiful. I don't know, I really want Brick, but I think I'm going to give this one away. So this is Brick. I'm just going to show you the applicator. I don't want to... I really don't want to open these or, or touch these too much. So I'm going to put this back in my bag because I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. So I picked up that. I was thinking about getting Bury Me too, but I skipped on that. I don't know. I kind of regret skipping on that. I kind of want Bury Me too. Next we have Makeup Forever. And this was definitely my second stop I wanted to go to personally because I really wanted to um, get some more eyeshadows. I love the Makeup Forever eyeshadows. They're my favorite. They blend so beautifully and it just doesn't get any better than those shadows. So I really wanted to go crazy and I'm mad I didn't pick up more than I did. But I did pick up six. I'm going to show you guys the colors I picked up and the numbers. But I want to say that these were 50% off at IMATS. Yes. As a matter of fact, I think a little bit more than it because I think they were $10 each. So... I mean, and when I went, when I got there, um, it was empty. There was nobody around. I was able to sit. Like, I was really able to focus and swatch and take my time. But I swear, when I did, like, one go-around and I came back to Makeup Forever, the line was, like, crisscross around the whole place. So, I guess everybody caught on that the shadows were there and they were $10. So, yep. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I got. I got M660, which is a really pretty light matte brown <laughs> i have m720 which is a pretty orangey shade this reminds me of a makeup geek shade i can't think of it off the top of my head chickadee maybe and this is s818 just a pretty purple this is me700 which is metallic and it's just a pretty metallic gold then I picked up I-804, which is iridescent, and it's just a really beautiful pinky shade with golden flecks in it. It's just so pretty. I even, I think you could use this as a blush. I think I'm going to use this as a blush. It's really pretty. And I also picked up M-704. So those are all the shades I picked up. Put them in my Z palettes, the whole bottom row. I love this palette. I want more shadows. I wanted to pick up that um, the large Makeup Forever. Ooh. I wanted to pick up the large Makeup Forever like palette, the tin palette, but they didn't have it there. So whatever. 
whatever. So next I went to the Tarte booth and I just picked up two of my favorite mascaras of all time. The Lights Camera Lashes. I had to stock up on those because they were really cheap. Also the blushes. The Makeup Forever blush. No, not me what am I talking about? The Tarte blushes. They had pretty much all the blushes and they, I think they were like 10 bucks. So that's really good. That's like more than half off. They were really cheap. And they also had like the newer like palettes that just came out for spring so I thought that was cool I almost picked up a few but by the time I got to Tarte I already went way over my MS budget so oh also at Morphe I picked up these wipes these are the green tea wipes I have boring but I just picked up four packs of these because I love these wipes and okay so Lady Moss Beauty was there I love this bag it's so pretty I went to Lady Moss because I really wanted lashes I picked up Basically, the styles I picked up were Foxy, really pretty, like crisscross, full lashes, and Goddess Lashes, which are the like iconic dupes, which I have on today. I really like them so far. They're a little, I don't know. I really like them. I also picked up the Coco Lashes Brush On Lash, Lash Adhesive. So yeah, this is just the brush on lash glue. I use it today. I like it. I hope my lashes are on right now. I don't know if their one is falling off, but next I hit LA Splash and I picked up some of their liquid lipsticks. And the reason I went is because I knew I wanted Ghoulish. Ghoulish is a liquid lipstick that is an exact dupe for Lime Crimes Cashmere. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. So ghoulish and it's pretty much cashmere. That's why I picked this up. Even though I did just order another cashmere dupe online by I think Aromi Cosmetics or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll include it in a haul later on. But yeah. So that's why I wanted to get this one because I don't have cashmere. And so yeah, this is a good dupe. It's LA Splash. It's a lot. I think it's cheaper than cashmere. And if you just don't want to support lime crime anymore. Or not even. If, I don't even want to get into that. If you just want a dupe for cashmere, you didn't get to pick it up, and you want a cheaper version, Ghoulish is the way to go because it's cheaper and it's exactly the same. So, yep. LA Splash. Ghoulish. And then I picked up Charmed, which is a really pretty mauve pink color. It looks like the Dose of Colors when I swatch. So that's Charmed and that's Ghoulish. Really pretty colors. So yeah, I like these. I wish I would have got more of these. They had really good colors. Then I had another lash booth. <laughs> so I picked up some Ardell lashes. I picked up um, the 102 Demis, which are just spiky. I picked up the Edgy 403s, which are just really pretty crisscross. They get fuller at the end. And then I picked up the 503s, another like spiky pair. And then some Demi Wispies. So, oh, I want to include these. So, these are the LA Girl glazed lip paints. I didn't pick these up at IMATS. My girl Monique got them for me. But yeah, I just wanted to include them in my haul. Even though they did have these there, I think I saw them at Lady Moss beauty so yeah these are so pretty i'm so excited let me swatch one for you i'm really excited about this purple one this is in blushing oh 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 i went crazy with the swatch so blushing isn't that a beautiful like purpley pink oh, i'm obsessed and this nude oh i haven't opened it yet but yeah and i got a nude in this the nude is just nude and then the bright pink is bombshell so i'm excited to play with these Ooh, my girl priscilla picked this up for me this is the l'oreal palette nude one i'm excited to play around with this she brought this for me so yeah she found it at walmart oh and one more thing my girl vanessa thank you so much so on instagram she posted a tony moly i don't know if you guys are familiar with tony moly but she posted these cute little things she had picked up from the tony moly store and I was like, oh my god, I need one of those. Where's the store? And she came to IMAX with the brightening eye base for me. Thank you so much, Vanessa. That was so sweet. And I can't believe she did that. She didn't have to do that. And I'm so excited to play with this. First of all, this packaging, 
How cute is this panda? <laughs> I'm obsessed. So it's a brightening eye base, like I said. So I'm really excited to play with it. You just, I guess I'm just gonna like rub it on. I'm gonna use this before I put on concealer to see if it gives me a little extra oomph. I'm just excited to play with this, and I think it's so cute to sit on my vanity. I'm gonna put it. Where can I put it? I'm gonna put him right here by my A for now. Cause he's so cute. Oh my god, I love him. Okay. <laughs> so next we found the lip bar. I love their bag. So cute. So this is a new um, company and they're natural and vegan and all that good stuff. And they had really pretty lip colors there. I just picked up one lip gloss and this is in Taramisu Toffee. I love their packaging, by the way. How good is this packaging? And this is, oh, look at that color. First of all, I need to show you guys this. This lip gloss is so pigmented. Literally one swipe, you get pure pigment. And I like that it's not that sticky, but it's it's just sticky enough that you could tell it's long lasting without being like MAC lip glasses. I don't like, I don't like that feeling on my lips. But look at this. I'm going to just do one swipe. Do you guys see that? Like, it's so pigmented and the color is so beautiful. They had really nice colors. I should have picked up more. But this lip gloss, girl. I'm excited about it. Taramisu Toffee. And it was so cute. They had these little lip bar lipstick pens. So I picked one up. Wow, I can't believe it. I think I'm in the last bag. Okay, okay so my last spot was Nigel's. And they had so many good things. They had the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette that just came out for like 20 bucks. So it was like half off. They had just such good deals. They had a lot of, they had a lot, they had the Semi Sweet Palette, the regular chocolate, chocolate Bar Palette. They had tons of beauty blenders. I picked up a pack of six and it also comes with the solid cleanser. So for 65 bucks, I got six beauty blenders and a cleanser a beauty blender alone is like 25 so this was a really good deal and you can never have too many beauty blenders because i don't know mine i feel like after like five or six not even like four or five months they're like i don't know nasty and i want to get rid of it and change it out so i thought i picked these up and this should last me till next year i met <laughs> so when i saw this next item there i went crazy they had the kevin aquan highlights I've been wanting to pick these up. I was actually going to pick these up from the VIB sale, but when I saw them there, I was like, yes, I scored big time. So I got these shades. They were also on sale, so you can't beat that. I got these shades Candlelight and Starlight. First of all, look at this packaging. You press that, and it just goes up automatically. It's so beautiful and sleek and black and gold. Obsessed. Look at this. This is in Candlelight. I'm going to attempt to swatch this for you guys. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. Candlelight. And then we have Starlight, which is more of a pinky champagne highlight. This one is so pretty. Can you guys see that? One more thing. So lastly, also at Lady Moss, I got the Coco Lashes. And I also picked up, which I didn't plan on picking up because I didn't even know they were going to have these there. But they had um, acrylic organizers. So my brush is already in them, as you can see. But um, I picked up this clear three-part like brush holder. You can use them for whatever, lip pencils, lip liners lip glosses whatever you want but i decided to use it for brushes because i use so many at a time and yeah so yeah this is perfect so i got picked that up lady moss also had these blush organizers so i picked up two of these smaller ones that hold like they hold matte blushes so that they're the smaller compact case to smaller compact holders and yeah so i picked up two of these and I picked up a one of the larger ones, which hold like your, the old MSFs or like bigger, like larger, um, like highlights and stuff. So I got one of these and I'm really upset. I wish I would have picked up more of these because they were only like $11 and 
I don't know if you guys are the, oh. and on like buy allegory they're like double the price and I almost um, placed an order on buy allegory because I really want to step up my storage game and I really wanted to get some of these so I'm so upset I didn't get more of these because they were only 11 bucks each and I still need more <laughs> So that's everything I picked up at IMATS. I had so much fun. Oh, I wish there was another IMATS tomorrow. I can't wait till next year. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.